So here we go with another factory warehouse installation. Our favorite. One thing that I want to showcase is APs. Hey. Um, so what we typically do here is we put a EMT metal box. Typically just where that technician is standing, Ben's one of our best jackers. You see right here, his height, they usually have tables. So you're not gonna put them down below at 18 inches. You're gonna put them up high because a lot of times on warehouses, factories, forklifts, human contact is just gonna be brutal. So you wanna put a, at least a 10 foot stalk. Now we could run it all the way up to the ceiling and just uh, snub it out that way. But this one is low volume, so we just put those 10 foot stalks, double gang box. We also have a couple solutions up there. We have access control right up there. We have some more stalks right up there. Job box, make sure everybody has the uh, combination. So here's another combination conduit. It's coming out here and we just did pole stations. So we just did that. So the guys are just going to terminate these guys. We use Cat6 cable, Honeywell. We don't script and we don't cheat our customers. So this is high grade Cat6. We also use ComScope, everything else. We have the lift up here. No worries also, you'll see a short ladder that is not for the lift. That was something that we were doing in the MDF. So typically we'll just also put APs up there. Bill, season guy, is securing the bundle. Typically what we'll do is have no more than 12 inches of sag. And this is where the MDF is going, or IDF actually. These offices are all gonna be fired up. Um, it is spectacular, but for you guys watching on YouTube, you probably won't get too excited by that. So when you're doing an IDF or any IT closet, you want to make sure it's secure. And here we have Mark's wedding. So we basically just have the rack, the frame coming in there. So he's about to cut some holes down there, put some conduit in there. You want to make sure that you at least minimally have three feet of clearance behind your equipment. So we're just putting the bare bones in there right now. She's secured. Some of the things that we're going to also do is cable management, D-rings. There's the conduit that's actually going to feed the main bundle and grounding wire somewhere. So we're going to come back in a little bit when this is all done. I love this stuff. All right, so here we are with the completed rack. So a couple things I'll point out to you. Look at those punches. Ooh, ah. So usually with a patch panel, you want to just flare them out, feather them out. Most of the time we have 18U coverage. So what it does is it covers your main bundle coming in and you can see the opposite. So I highly encourage everybody to get matching 18Us. So this is a perfect example of a selling point. Doesn't that look better than this? So I encourage everyone to get matching 18 use, and I love it. Um, so we have a fiber tray up here. Um, we have the patch panels in here. What we typically do is we'll put a 2U there for future use or depending on where your switches are. We have a bolted down rack. That ain't moving. We have the sleeve. We have a couple drops going down below. We have D-rings. Isn't that magnificent to have organization? And then we have the sleeves up top. We have the service coil of fiber up there. If you ever need to move it, sometimes we'll typically put it on uh, the back. Um, they requested to put it up top. So again, we have a cable tray and we have enough room to walk right into the back of this thing. So you always want to make sure minimum you at least have three feet. D-rings going down, sleeve, and punches. That's it for Southampton.